What's up guys? No Shovel here with Lon's Man, another member of Label, and we're gonna do a dual commentary for you. Hey everybody, so the point of these videos, we're gonna help you play this fucking game better. Alright, we're gonna give you tips and tricks. We're gonna talk about all the little details of Avra to make your Avra experience a little bit better. <laughs> what are we gonna go over today, Long? Alright, today... I noticed a lot of changes today. We're going to talk about FPS cap, frames per second cap. We're going to talk about where the fuck the corner lag went. We're going to talk about people crying about 09 armor. And we're going to talk about uh, frequently asked questions. Ask snow. All right, let's just, let's just get started. Okay. So what we're watching right now, we're just pubbing right now, right? I'm just, I'm playing Random room. fucking seven, seven win supply, straight up para, using damage barrel grip, pretty much just regular shit. Okay, so, let's talk about, okay, this resolution is not high res, no. what are you doing? I'm using 8x6, I always use 8x6, people ask me why I use 8x6, and the reason is because you have a lot less room for error when you're shooting. It's easier to aim because there's a lot less to see. Y'all Counter-Strike motherfuckers know about this you, too. Exactly. It's just, it's easier to, it's easier for target acquisition. I mean, the crosshair is bigger too. It's just easier in general. And if you play that resolution, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So do you get better frames or what? Like, how many frames are you getting? You're getting like, you have no more frames per second cap, right? Tell them how to fix it. Yeah. Um... 8x6 is the lowest res, so naturally you get lowest. F you get the highest amount of FPS. Um, the FPS cap in AVA is 200, but recently there was a fix that I heard about and I applied it. And basically, what you do is you go to your Nvidia control panel if you use a Nvidia card. I don't know how it works for ATI, so you're gonna have to Google that yourself. But basically, you force VSync off in the Nvidia control panel. And you go in game and you turn VSync on. And basically, what this does is it tricks the game into taking off the FPS cap because it thinks VSync is on, but it's actually not because you're forcing it off through the control panel. And so you'll notice that the game goes past 200 frames. And right now, I'm getting about 600. Um, Shit. I'm frapsing, so it says it's at. Whoa, that guy just got fucked up. <laughs> so. That was a 4K. Wow. Anyway, so. I lost track. I fraps at 120, but when I'm not frapsing, I usually get about 500 to 600 frames per second. Um, why this is important? The game will run smoother if you have no frame cap. Uh, this is proven in almost any game. I don't know if this works if you can't even reach 200 frames, but if you can, try this out. It'll probably help you out it's, a lot. It's really smooth when you're playing without a frame cap because then the game, there's a lot less jitter, there's a lot less hiccuping because there's no frame cap now. It's it's really smooth. It's it's nice. Um, also, this entire clip, I watched this clip. This entire clip, I didn't see any corner lag. Oh, Where yeah. did it go? I I went to Chicago this weekend and or not this weekend this week and I come back and I go to play some pubs. And I noticed the game is running extremely smooth, and I'm like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? Was there, like, a patch or something, but... Was there a patch? I don't know. That's, I, I don't know. I think there was a maintenance, though. If there, if there was a service patch, or, like, a maintenance patch, then that might have fixed it, but... Holy shit. Before that... Did you see that? Yeah, he was fucking... I don't know. Oh. Yeah, okay. he fucked me up, though. Anyway. Um... But, yeah, ever since I came back, I come back today, and I notice that there's no lag. So I go... And if you guys follow my channel, you'll you, you know about the uh, corner lag video I made about a couple months ago. And we basically try to replicate that exact issue. And we go into canon and we start trying to record corner warp, and it doesn't exist. It, it was so smooth, it was insane. Like we just we couldn't replicate the problem. So corner lag is gone now. Yeah. So tell all your friends, your Dude, mama, the fixed. The your dad. Fixed. Tell them all to come back to this motherfucking game. We need more people to play. Yeah, this game's dead now, but I don't. There's no reason for it to be dead now because it's not broken anymore. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a one day thing or. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, this might just be a fluke. It might just be for a day. It might be for a week. It might be forever. We don't know. But right now, there's no lag. There's. 
I mean, the game runs smooth. There's no reason to hate on it. Um, there's still, like, laggers and stuff, but and what can you do? They don't have the advantage anymore because there's no more corner lag. So this game's actually a lot more enjoyable, and Long and I are going to actually start playing some more because... Yeah, I kind of want to play now. Because there's no lag, so it's, it's really enjoyable. So tell everyone, tell all your friends that used to play or quit the game because it was bullshit before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Uh, speaking of advantage... A lot of people are crying about 09 armor. Oh, so like yeah. I don't I don't even know what is what does it even look like? What is that on the shoulder pad? And you just it's like a fucking what you is look that, like a Raptor? football player. Yeah. It's it's on the just, shoulder? It's just G coin armor long. Oh okay. All it does people think it gives you some insane advantage where you tank everything to tank oh, TPG man. headshots or some shit like that. No, it doesn't do that. The only thing that's beneficial that's really beneficial about the 09 armor is probably the chest gear and the gloves. Um, there's no, I don't see any reason to buy the helmet because it's the exact same as the EH08. There's no reason to buy the G coin one. They do the exact same stats defense wise. So, wait, which helmet is the only hel what? helmet that can tank a para? Um, no helmet can tank a para. Really? It's, but whoa, it can whoa, start whoa. tanking it up to 17 meters. All right. Which is pretty far, but basically the 09 helmet doesn't give you any more of an advantage than the 08 helmet. So if you have a lot of Euro, no reason to buy the 09 helmet. They do the exact same. All right. So you heard it first, yeah. right here. Don't fucking cry about the armor no more. I mean the chest. The chest you can tank one extra bullet sometimes depending on the gun, but other that's not exactly game breaking. I mean it's. It's a little annoying sometimes because when you're out trying to outshoot someone and they just happen to kill you because they were able to tank one more bullet, it's pretty annoying, but other than that, it's really not that game-breaking, I would say. Uh, it can't tank sniper bullets as much as any other armor, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just good armor. It's You get you get your money's worth, pretty much. It's probably the best thing you can buy with G-Coin in this game. Is it even banned anywhere? Like tournaments or whatever uh i don't know probably right. probably yeah. banned just because they think it's okay maybe but uh yeah the boots exact same as the lucky boots they're just a little faster when you walk uh the gloves are soccer gloves and eg08 gloves combined so basically you get swap speed decrease and you get uh accuracy increase when you're walking and moving um the Ammo supposed supposedly lets you tank a grenade better. I don't know. I haven't really tested it, so it probably works, but it's probably really subtle. And what else? There's just the boots. I already. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, the the protectors or whatever, the knee knee pads or whatever. They're supposedly supposed to help you uh, absorb damage, but honestly, I haven't noticed any difference when I'm using them or when I'm not using them. So it's probably very subtle. Uh, advantage if there is one to begin with, but yeah. 09 armor, not OP. It just gives you a very, very slight advantage in certain situations, but it's definitely not a game breaker. Alright, so let's talk about some other shit you guys ask no. You guys love to ask him what his mods are. Oh my goodness. So, seriously, watch his videos. Yeah, just, I put I put the mods in the video description. You just gotta go on the video, whichever video I use, or whichever video that's playing, you just click description and the mods are right there in the video but, for but, that specific video. What are you using right now? Damage grip, ISF mods. That's that's the most that's the best spray mods you can use for this gun in my opinion. For crowd shooting. Spray. Not that we're endorsing spray or anything like that. But it is what it is. Oh fuck! I, and I think this is where the clip starts going really down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, switching clips to dual sight. Too much embarrassment for snow it shovel. Was, we were doing good for a little while, and then it just went to shit. But anyway. Um. All right. Uh, one more. There's a couple more. Oh, another big one. I thought you were going to quit Abra. What happened, Snow? Uh, was it was it too good? Was it like fucking cocaine that you had to come back? What happened? I said I was going inactive in the game because it was starting to get boring and there was a lot of bullshit, like corner warping. There was just a lot of, like, reg, reg issues with the bullets and the, there was corner warp and I just wasn't interested in the game. I was sick of it at that point because I was scrimming it every day for hours on end. Yeah. It was, just, 
It was awful. I didn't enjoy I didn't enjoy competitive gaming, so I decided to stop playing. A lot of us switched to Battlefield. Battlefield I did. Yeah, Battlefield's a great game. Um it was a good alternative for me for a while, but I don't know, I just there's something about the gameplay in ABA that's so addicting. Yeah, because I think it's because it's more disciplined. Yeah, I think it's just it's a cleaner it's cleaner and it's more straightforward in its game mechanics, I would say. Alright, so y'all heard it here first. I guess he didn't exactly quit, just competitive gaming. Yeah, competitive gaming, I'm not gonna do anything. Too stressful, fuck it. But I'll still make videos. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, yeah. Um, let's see. What else happened while we were gone? Oh, EG went out of bit. Alright, I didn't hear this until Snow told me. So apparently EG is gone. Yeah, EG and... got bought out by Area Games. Yeah, wh who the hell are they? They're the second largest publisher in the US for games like Battlefield Play for Free, Need for Speed World. Uh, they have they have a lot of games that they publish, and basically other than Nexon, they're probably one of the largest uh, publishers for uh, free play free play games in general. So hopefully, I'm hoping they don't ruin this. I'm hoping that this game doesn't become pay to win because that's what they're known for is turning games into pay to win, which is really gay. But yeah, like. If they keep the formula the same, where you can buy almost anything in this game with Euro, and that money just oh, makes it easier to get shit, then yeah, I think it'll be it'll be really good under Area Games. They might actually have more events. They might fix shit. They might actually listen to this community, and we might actually have a good game to play from now on. All right, that guy got fucked. Oh, oh shit. All right, anyway. Alright, so that's all we have for today. Um, like we said, this is our first time. If you guys like this shit, tell us. If you do, if you guys don't like it, tell us. Tell we us have no idea. Yeah. yeah, we have no idea. We have no idea what you guys want to hear. Tell us what you want to hear. Give us some topic ideas. Give us some questions you want answered. Uh, I read every single comment. Uh, I don't reply to everything but I do read every single comment you guys create so yeah he gets like a live feed of like yeah. his inbox so basically just fills up fast. give us topic ideas that you want us to talk about um, like tips and tricks we'll go over anything uh, but yeah if you guys like this video if you want to see more of this uh, just write a comment below also do you think that we should start shout casting like scrims and stuff uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. I wouldn't mind. But don't send us your videos because I don't know if your video quality is going to be good. Like, no offense or anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can tolerate staring at some shitty video trying to talk about it. Yeah, it's so, just if you want your scrim, like... If you want me to, to if you want me and Long to shoutcast your scrims, tell we us will spectate ahead of time. it and we will talk about it. Yeah. We'll go over shit that you're doing right, we'll go over shit you're doing wrong. And yeah, uh, we're, we're willing to do that. We're willing to make more videos like this. Uh, thanks yeah, we're trying to nature. bring shit back and help you guys get better. Yeah, but um, yeah, uh, we're pretty much done here. Um, this, I think shit goes downhill in this video too, so... I don't, in fact, I don't even think I can put this guy here. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway. Oh, not quite. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time. All the ball on my wrist, diamonds look like they glowing. 50 stacks all singles, I make it look like it's snowing. Black unmarked cars, gotta peep how they playing. Treat them like jack boys, catch them slipping and slam. Them. Lord forgive me for my sins, that's my confession. If they put me in this beam.